We have a fish trap with us today. Oh my god, oh my god, look how many fish we caught! I've never seen this before in my life. Those are baby albino plecos. Yo, dude. All right, intro time. What's up, VFB Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, we're here at one of my favorite spots of all time. This spot is freaking legendary. We've caught so many cool aquarium fish here, whether it's from the fish traps, the pipe traps, netting around. We always seem to find some really cool stuff in here, especially inside of this tunnel. Now, check it out. We're here at this little creek, and then it overflows into this little tunnel you can see a little waterfall here and then it leads to that part over there which we usually net around at and put our fish traps but today we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna do something around here i think i just walked up and i saw some weird fish i have never seen before we have a fish trap with us today we got some cat food in there as you can tell um, i think we might place it should we place it here ready i'm gonna make the leap of faith oh no what I found. Wait, wait, the snail, snail, snail! Oh, oh get it! Right there! Oh! Let me try over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. There's so many little cichlids and fish on the scene right now. We got our fish track in the honey hole. This is the hot spot. You guys can't see it. There's so many different types of fish like swimming around. Right next to the waterfall. We've never done this before, so who knows what we'll catch today. Wait, the fish are already going in. Really? Yeah, they're going around. Oh, no. All right, we're gonna come back here, guys. Our fish trap is down there. We're gonna come back later today. We might also net around a little bit when we come back, but yeah. We're gonna get this trap like two, three hours maybe, and uh, hopefully, cross your fingers, we'll catch something cool to put into one of our ponds or one of our tanks. We'll see you guys then. All right, you guys, we're back here. It is later in the day. The sun is going down. We have a net. Giant, absolute giant net. You guys saw the last video. Check how big that net is. Oh my God. I know, right? You guys said to get a bigger net. So I went out, I bought the biggest one possible. This thing is going to get it done. Let's see what we got. Brandon, any predictions? Um, crawfish maybe. Blue here. crawfish. All right, first order of business. We, we need water. That's good enough. Okay. Get our aerator ready. We're ready. Let's rock and roll, baby. Oh my god, look. Look at the snail trying to get in. Oh my god. Look. Get in here. Look, he's trying to get in the trap. <laughs> we caught him. Caught him red-handed. All right, you're going in the bucket. All right, let's take the trap. Here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Let's see what's in it. It's been soaking here for like three hours. Ready? Oh my god, oh my god, look how many fish we caught! Dude, that's so many. Oh, what is that? What is that? Dude! Resting? Brandon, you see the Oh! What was that? There's a fish in here that is so red. Look. Look, look, oh my god! What the heck is that? Bro, I've never uh, seen that fish before. Maybe. I've never seen this before in my life. Salvini? No. That's not a Salvini sticker. Oh my god. It's a Mayan. What the heck is that? What did we just catch? This thing is so pretty. Mayan cichlid <laughs> mix. Maybe. It might be a Mayan mix or something. Like a, I don't even know. That yeah. thing is so sick though. Whoa. That is straight up going into the cichlid pond. All right, what else do we get? The fish are eating my feet. Oh, what is this? Oh my God. Bro, Oscar. baby Oscar. Holy crap, this is insane. We were catching so many. Ah! Oh, you see that? Look at that. All right, get him in the bucket before I lose him. This is crazy. Okay, that's the second Oscar I've ever caught in this canal. I caught a big one here like a couple months ago, but this is like living proof that Oscars are making their way down to where I am. Because in Florida, they're really not around my area. But I've caught two in this canal. Oh my God, the trap. She's tipping over. What else do we get? What else do we get? I see a lot of jewel cichlids. <laughs> like that guy. That's a little jewel cichlid. We'll throw him in. Uh, oh! Oh, I thought that was a Jack Dempsey, dude. Look at the colors on that one. That is so pretty. In the bucket. Uh, lots of jewels. Come on, give me something good. Those are really pretty, dude. I can't, jewel cichlids are one of the fish I just can't get enough of catching. Like, I've caught so many, but it never gets old. They're so pretty. Alien fish, baby. Look at that thing. Whoa. Hey, you better chill out, dude. Little pleco right there. 
super cool. I also love catching these guys. Never get sick of them. There you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just throw the tilapia back. We don't like tilapia. This is a success, dude. We caught so many. Look at this. Look at the handful I'm about to pull up. Look at all those. <laughs> there you go, guys. Lion. More tilapia. Mosquito fish. Whoa! That was really red. And another one. All right. I think that's all the keepers. They're all tilapia, so we're just going to dump them back. See you later, guys. You didn't make the cut. I'm sorry about that. All right, guys. Check it out. We got a lot of keepers here in the bucket from our fish trap. Now, there's uh, one fish in here. I have no idea what it is. I'm going to need your help in the comments to go down there and identify it for me. Check this out. Get real close. It's this guy right here. He's actually really big. It's definitely some sort of cichlid. Ah! Oh my gosh. He was a lot more red when I caught him. He's losing. A... Dude, geophagus maybe? You know what that is? Nope. Kind of looks like a geophagus to me. I don't know. I'm not a big... I guess I don't know as much. Sense. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's so pretty. Look at the fins on that. I, I, I thought I was a cichlid expert, dude, but it looks like I got more to learn because I have no clue what that is. We also have caught ourselves a little baby Oscar. Look at that. Look at that right there. The purple on his little gill plate. So sick. Dude, that's actually such a pretty Oscar. We're definitely keeping him. He's got a little bite mark on him. Something tried to eat him or something. That is really cool. Dude, this is so awesome. Right there. Look at that. And then the rest are all jewel cichlids. So we're going to get these guys in the truck. I'm going to put a little more water in there. And then we're going to make one lap through the hidden tunnel. We're going to net around and see what else we can get. And then we're heading home. All right, you guys. We have our little viewing panel right here. And we have our giant new net. We're going to go down the hidden tunnel, see what we can find. Ready? Hello. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh my, this net is so good. Hey, yeah, like, like a tetra. Oh. Oh my god, what is that? It, oh my god, it just hits the ride on the freaking thing! What the heck? Hello? Dude, you see that one? It's so funny. Alright. Oh my god, bring it to me. Dude, dude, come here, look. Holy crap! Brandon! Are you serious? Those are babies. Look, get a close shot of that. Oh my god, I saw them. Oh my god, there's no way those are actually baby plecos. Freaking albinos. Oh my gosh, I covered them with a net. Look, oh my gosh. Oh my god! There's so many of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holy crap. Okay, guys. We've caught, we've caught albino and plecos in this tunnel before, but they were like big ones. And I was suspecting that they were breeding in here, and a lot of you guys didn't think so. They thought that people just threw them in, and those are the ones we caught. But this proves it right here. Look at these babies. Oh my gosh, Brandon, you seeing that? Oh yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. I saw, because you have the flash on, he has the flash on on the camera, and they were right here, and I saw the reflection of the eyes. There was like little red eyes over. I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? This is how they're protecting themselves from predators, because they're so freaking small. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, here. Oh my God, bro, that's so cool. I don't want to lose any, but I want to like look at them like that. Look at that. This is the best thing we could have caught today. This is insane, bro. Those are baby albino plecos in the wild. Look at that. That is so cool. All right, you know what? Let's just take this whole bottle, bro. Let's go. So Brandon, has caught an albino playco on his channel, and it was in this tire. Maybe there's another one. Oh my god, I thought that was a red. So Brandon's caught one, I've caught one. You see any? Still. No albino playco? Okay, let me lift it up. Ready? Anything? Snake! Oh my god, you scared me. You guys, check this out. We got our finds in the bottle. This is so convenient because they're already in the bottle. We just gotta take them home now. Check it out. Can you even see them? I see them. Like, it's so weird because they're in the bottle, but we got a ton in here. I think we have like almost 10, so. I got this black bucket I had in the truck. We're gonna put them into this so we can really see them. Cause if I put them in that white bucket, we're never gonna find them. There we go. Look at them. <laughs> go on everyone, into the net. Oh, they're stuck. No! Get out. <laughs> Get out, bro, there's still two in there. Come on, stupids. There, there we go. Look at this, you guys. Look at those baby freaking albino plecos. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. 
There you go, guys. Let's see how many we got. Oh, you can really see them now. And plus one in here. There he goes. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, I think, right? Yep. Seven babies, dude. Guys, I don't know how many babies albino plecos usually have, but we caught seven of them today. They were all living in that bottle. This is the coolest thing ever, dude. Imagine when all of them are like full grown size. We're gonna have so many albino plecos, but we're gonna head back to my house now. Oh, dude, I forgot. We have all, we have that really cool cichlid. We have the Oscar. So many cool finds today, I forgot. Do you want us to come back? To the hidden tunnel again leave a like and comment let me know you want to see it all right guys as we were coming back up we met a subscriber he's a fan did you see the video where we caught the big albino yeah yeah that's i think cool. these are the little babies so the that's babies really cool yeah we just caught something i have no idea what it is here let's go check it out that uh oh it looks like a mayan almost i don't even know dude like a red mine might be a fire mouse so good fire mouth no idea what that is guys if it's a fire mouth let me know here yeah just look it up oh it is a fire mouth look you know more than me what? <laughs> all right y'all appreciate it hey guys we're back at my house now we have all of our albino placos here i was thinking about putting them into the koi pond because this is where maybe their parents are because there's two albino placos in here both of them came from that same hidden tunnel check it out oh yeah there's one and then right there next to the filter there's the other one so yeah, they're <gasps> Oh my god, Mooney! Hello, Mooney! <gasps> Say hello to the BFP Nation. So yeah, guys, I thought about putting them into here, but I think they're way too small because there's so many things in here that I could eat them. So I think we might actually put them in the little pond out back. I think that's a good idea. We can raise them once they get a little bigger, then we can put them into here, spread them out around the house. We also have our cichlid finds and our Oscars. Let's just go to the back. I think the back is the best bet. All right, here we go. This is the pond, guys. Now we actually have spruced this pond up a little bit. We got some water less in there, as you can tell. And we also have, I think, five colorful guppies, like the ones with the all fancy tails. So hopefully those breed in here. I want this pond to like be super colorful, like just really colorful, tiny fish like that. And the puffer fish. And the puffer fish. Oh yeah, you can kind of see that it's like really dark. Oh, out. I see them. Dude, that is so awesome. Seven of them. So let's go. Let's dump them into the pond. I'm gonna dump them in my hand. Oh, one got away. <laughs> Come on, guys. I see him down there already. There they look, go. Look, look down there. And oh my God, they stand out. <gasps> that is so cool, dude. They're so bright. Look at one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one <laughs> there. That is awesome. Imagine during the daytime when it's sunny out, you can really see them. That's perfect. This is the perfect spot for them. We're going to give you updates on them. We're going to raise these guys up. Hopefully they get real big and then we're gonna spread them out around the house. We have some cichlids and this baby Oscar. Let's go find out what we're gonna do with them. Now I apologize for the lighting. You can't see in the pond at all. It's really late in the day. Oh wait, you can see them. Yeah, you can kind of, I mean, it's just really dark out. Yeah, we're going to be putting this guy in here, which is apparently a fire mouth cichlid. Uh, with the help of that subscriber, he told me that. Ah, dude, they are feisty. Look how cool that is. Super cool fish. I've never caught one before. This is the first ever one. So here he goes into the cichlid pond. Now, when it's all sunny and we do feedings like that, we'll definitely be able to see him with that bright red. We also have an Oscar and a bunch of jewel cichlids. So I have an idea for these guys. We're going to be putting this Oscar and the jewel cichlids into this pond because I think I want to make this pond sort of like a grow out for small predator fish like this Oscar. Look at that. So we're gonna grow this guy out. He's gonna be in here until he gets a little bigger. Then he'll go into the predatory pond. Along with him, I think we're just gonna put all the jewels in here because this is sort of our breeding grounds for cichlids that we feed to the bigger fish. There they all go. And an apple snail. We're just dumping everything. There goes the plinko. Guys, super cool. We're gonna end it off here at the koi pond. A little update on Goldie. There she is. She is living her best life, dude. I love this koi so much. I'm so happy we got her. And we're going to be going back soon. Don't you guys worry. We're going to be going back and we're going to try and catch the other two. So a few of you have been asking about Banner, the small albino Oscar. Look, you can see his nose poking out down there. Oh yeah. Look at him down yeah, there. there. There's his nose. See, I built that little tunnel for the eel. And ever since I put that tunnel in there, Banner just sits in there all day. I never see him anymore. So the eel's in there and so is Banner. Awesome new additions all around the house today, guys. Freaking baby albino placos, dude. The sickest thing ever. So if you guys did enjoy, please go down there and leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.